Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jenkins Weekly Team Meeting. We are today the 8th of October 2024. Um, around the table today, we got Jay Reddy. Hello, Jay. Mark Waits and myself. And right on time, Kevin Morin. So um, today, weekly release uh, is up and running right now. Um, last week was a successful one with the 2.479, but it occurred on the Wednesday 2 of October with the, the LTS 2462.3 uh, with a, a lot of security issue. And uh, um, we got the link to the um, advisory with all those change. Oh. Yes, uh, fix for the uh, plugin can I fix for you. fix for security vulnerabilities within credential plugin and open ID connect authentication plugin. So you should all upgrade everything. Um, upcoming calendar. So the next weekly will be in uh, next week, the 15th of October. We go back to every Tuesday. And the next LTS, um, the release candidate will be on the 16th of October. The number should be 2.479.1. Mark Waite will be the release lead. Uh, oh yeah, of course, and Kevin would have to, to work to, for the documentation. Release will take place on the 30th of October. If I remember correctly, Mark, this one uh, will be the the one embedding the Spring security upgrade. Yes, I'm right. Well done, guys. Um, next security release. I don't think there is any plan for now. Nope. Last one was uh, the one we just spoke about. Um, for the upcoming credential expiration, we only have one occurrence within the three next week, and that will be for the 17th of October. Uh, for dot Jenkins IO and plugin Jenkins IO, we already have the issue created. Just a matter of planning. Um, next major events we got the FOSDEM 2025. I need to buy my tickets on February 1st and 2. And the day before, the 31 of January, we will have the Jenkins contributor submit that I'm assuming Bruno is taking care of to to uh, render the place and everything. So plan to attend if you want to see us all. Um, for the cloud budget, um, I was able to uh, extract the data this morning. So uh, for October, so the, the eighth first day of October, we spent uh, $943 on the CDF account for Azure on Azure paid by the CDF. The forecast is uh, steady at 3,866, which seems to be around what we, we spent last month. Um, we moved- Which is significantly lower than than, we, we, than the four thousand, the five thousand dollar upper bound budget. So that's a very nice savings. I, I don't. Yes, I'm not sure I understand saved. how we save that much money, but that's great, Stefan. Do you have any story to tell there on how there, September not, saved so much money? Not much story, but we moved around some um, some uh, uh, Azure uh, from Azure to Azure to the sponsorship one. Oh, That's good. why we, we we just moved, but not much. Most of the consumption on the on the CDF uh, is coming, if I'm not uh, mistaken, from uh, Bantwich, I think. Okay. Maybe I'm maybe I'm missing. Uh, I'm mixing with the AWS cloud. Yeah, business. I know we know AWS is that way. So so, but that's great. Thank you. The good story. So, now we we um we use the Azure sponsorship one and um, the plan for uh, the data. Sorry for this month, I have no access, so I have no clue how much we spent. Um, only Damien got access to that account, and we plan to um, reduce our consumption on that account by moving CI Jenkins IO to the uh, AWS sponsored account. 
that's work in progress right now. As for digital ocean, we're we are consuming uh, almost nothing, $42.27 for now. We plan to have the same kind of uh, of invoice then in September. Uh, and you were right. Last week, I made a mistake and copy and paste the wrong amount and the one for the month before because when we had the meeting, the billing was not produced yet. So my mistake but not we didn't have the 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 email yet so as for aws so we um try to reduce the account um the amount on the cloudbees account um right now we are consuming 1589 and it's minus 17 uh, percent since last month we are not really uh, um uh, the, the the cause of that reduction because uh, we didn't move uh, anything uh, this month, but we um, we plan to move update.jenkins.io. It has been postponed to make sure that we take anything everything in in account for, since the last out uh, black brownout brownout. Brown Sorry, thank you. Uh, the sponsor account. I have access to the sponsor account, but not on the billing. So I may have to add myself the right to, but for now I, I didn't take the time to. But we just started to to play right. with it, so to consume some. Um, okay, yes, I'm I'm really fast. For what we've done, we are in a very low team uh, uh, workload, so uh, Damien's not there, and you can tell by the work done. We do our best with J, but uh, it's not the same. So we add an error on an update key on Kubernetes management that I saw and and the main build were, were failing and it disappeared by itself on the GDK21 Windows Air and AMD64, sorry. I didn't dig much, just close the issue and uh, I will check sometimes if it's coming back, but was... Uh, non-permanent error. Uh, we did update the old our uh, controllers to the latest uh, version of the controller, either the weekly one or the LTS one. And Mark, I have to ask you, can we close the other issue you opened yes. asking to chat for that? So, so Absolutely. I, I think I'll, I'll it's duplicate. Closer. Yeah, okay. so I create that issue as a release lead because the checklist says create the issue. Okay. It's perfect, you're perfectly welcome to close it, say, hey, it's a duplicate, no problem. And oh, okay. I, can, I, I can go close it now if that's if that's easy enough. As you wish. Let me as close it. That way you don't have to spend the time. Um, so then we... Um... We did a huge, uh, huge, not a huge, we did a rotation of credential for search CA and trusted CI. Those credential allow uh, Let's Encrypt to uh, uh, renew the certificates using the DNS and to allow access to the DNS, we need an Azure principle. So we did a rotation and uh, Jay took care of improving the the title and the, and the body for those peer for, for the next time, it will be easier to um, work on those kind of issues. Thank you, Jay. So now work in progress. Our big uh, epic work right now is to uh, prepare the moving, the migration of CI Jenkins IO from the Azure in the sponsorship account to the AWS sponsorship account in order to um, um, keep the Azure sponsorship account uh, with some cash until the end of, uh, I think it's May, the end of the account, and to start using the AWS one. So everything have been uh, split in, in sub um, issues. Um, first one with the defined individual network. I, I choose to open two at the same time, the defined virtual mesh, uh, network and the move ephemeral VM, because in the move ephemeral VM, I can ask Jay to work on the packer uh, images and to prepare the, the work. So for now, we have spent a lot of time together trying to understand 
the uh, authorization and the credential and the assuming role that Damian tried to uh, set up. Uh, in fact, there is some little piece missing. So I was able to uh, diagnose and, and have few information from, from Damien. Um, I hope we will manage a way to work with what he planned. For the Packer part, uh, we did set up a specific uh, account for Packer and um, and uh, we were able to start. I will let Jay speak about that Packer uh, part. Yeah, so we created a use, Terraform user called Packer to create the Packer image templates. And right now we've introduced most of the Amazon builder logic with my pull request. But the thing is, uh, Packer is unable to assume the role policies that are required to, to create these EC2 images. So that's the current blocker that oh. we're dealing with. I'm sorry, and... Jay, but I, I, I think you, you mix everything because we, we had to go back and forth on all the, the pull requests because of the right, but that user shouldn't uh, assume any role. He got his own authorization. We are just... Uh, trying by by iteration to give him the correct authorization, right. not more, not less. That's what we're doing. But there is no assuming role on that one. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, so uh, I currently we're testing the Packer image templates locally. Also on the infra.ci pipeline. So let's see how it goes. So work in progress. Thank you, Jay. Uh, and on my side, I did work on um, a VPC and, and all the networking uh, with the plan of, of Damien, with uh, IPv6 and IPv4 and with all the restrictions. Um, here, my main problem, it's not Packer, it's, it's Terraform, my main problem, is the user of Terraform cannot assume the role and we're missing something somewhere. And, uh, and I need to overcome that to be able to apply my pull request. Right now, all the pull requests, even when I merge them, crashed because of writes. So work in progress. Um, as for the rest, we have not much information. The infra statistical, we are still in in uh, old, on old. No news. Uh, for remainder, we were locked. Uh, um, Koshuke was locked out of the VPN. Now he got the VPN. So the statistical are proce processed, but someone else, I forgot his name, should be processing them. Uh, and Andrew Bayer, and there Andrew. it's a, we'll check with him after after Damien returns, we'll check with him to see. Andrew does it does the the processing out of kindness. We don't want to put too much pressure on him, but he's been willing to do it in the past. Okay, so um, here for uh, I'm sorry, indentation was wrong. Uh, for this one, we we have uh, two uh, issues that are related. That's for the geo IP uh, data. Uh, we hit the rate limit, so we choose to extract the updating of the GOE IP database outside of, of the everyday process on each restart of the pods. So there's a cron job prepared and a specific image. I did work on it, adding AZ and AZ copy and every tools we need in the image. So the image is done. Now I have to uh, make sure that I got a correct uh, um, Azure service principle to uh, access the, the storage that I need to update. Um, I'm not quite sure if I need to reuse an existing one or create a specific one just for that. Um, I may have to ask Damien by a, a little text what he think about that. But um, yes, it did improve. And uh, still not in line. It's uh, on locally on my machine because it was dealing with um, sensitive information to access those uh, storage. So uh, I'd rather kept it 
local. Uh, Gradle plugin, I don't know there is some news on that. I know that they were trying to provide a back porch uh, information. So as far as I can tell, this one is resolved. We should declare it closed because okay. I think all of the all of the actions that the infra team can take are done. Uh, yes. Let me. I'll double check. Let me read it just to be sure. But as far as I know, it's... can I let you close it if you? Yes, can? absolutely. So last but not least, there is the migration of update Jenkins IO. Uh, this one will have to wait until we take care of everything we found during the last brownout. Um, so with Damien, and um, I think if we do not take long, I'm hoping for migration either before the, the end of October, worst case scenario, end of November. And this one should save us some cash from the uh, AWS CloudBees account, a lot of cash. Um, that's all for what we are doing right now. For the next, the new issue that we need to, to triage, the two on Jenkins, uh, on CI Jenkins IO are part of the work of the EPIC of the migration. Um, this one is a new one that Daniel caught he caught a bug in the uh, plugins website that doesn't uh, display the correct title, if I understand correctly. Uh, see, there is there is a discrepancy between either the I, version and the title. And I agree with him. It's it's a bug. Uh, it we need to transfer this one to the plugin site. Good. Uh, okay. And I don't know who has permission to do issue transfer, but I, I agree it is a bug. He's right. So, uh, oh, I haven't seen that one. That one is from you, Mark. Do you want to explain us? Uh, sure. Yeah. So, so this one, uh, we can we can certainly it should not be included in the next milestone. Let's put it that way first. Yes, we should clear the triage flag. Um, a, pl a Debian package that is older than two years or the older than 12 months is incorrectly displayed as available on the mirrors when in fact the mirrors don't have it any longer. They used to have it, but now they do not. And, and it's that used to have it, but now they do not. That's the surprise here. So the, the map of with the showing which mirrors have it is actually incorrect. It's showing that it exists on many mirrors when in fact, oh. at most it's on one of the mirrors. Uh, the Servana mirror seems to keep a lot longer history than other mirrors, but the other mirrors like the one I use, X Mission in the, United, in the central United States um, does not keep that long a history. Now we don't expect them to because they allocate us a hundred gigabytes of data of, of file system space and we keep the most recent things that fit reasonably within that space. So it, this is this is a low priority thing that it may actually be resolved when we resolve the problem that causes mirror bits to sometimes show two entries, double entries in the lower section. Oh, right. If you, I, if you speak of the double entries of the of the mirrors. Mm -hmm. That's due to the to the migration we we did because Damian tried to to migrate the database and in fact that was a wrong good idea because it did duplicate every entry um, probably due to a bug within the, the the software the easier way would have been to uh, start with a, a blank uh, database and have Mirobit to fulfill it and scan and 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 and, and that. That duplication may be the cause of this no, misstated data, right? Because that duplicated data may be the thing that's being shown here. I may I may see the duplicated no. data, and and Mirabits doesn't clean up the duplicated yeah, data. Yeah, you may be right. The problem with that is if we uh, to 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 resolve that, we need to um, clean up the the whole database, 
purge the database and start over again. So adding again manually each uh, mirror, which is easy. It's, it's one uh, mirror bit command. Uh, but during the time the mirrors be, the mirror bit database update itself and, and clean itself, uh, none of them of the of the mirror will answer. So it will fall back to our uh, system and we will have to pay for the band switch during that time. And we don't really know how long that will that will take to update that database. Right, which means as as you said, there is a there is a cost to us doing yeah anything on this and for me this is a low low priority so not putting it a milestone makes sense to me and accepting yeah. that yes this is this is an issue but the issue is it has an easy workaround i provided the workaround to the person that submitted it to me on community or wherever it was where i saw the original submission the workaround is easy when you need okay. something that old get it from archives.jenkins.io yeah. So I don't feel any truth. compelling need that we need to put it in the milestone. It's it can wait till whenever. Okay. Then the next one, there is L in the building. Uh Jenkins IO. Yes, I have I have not digged into that. I don't know. This one will probably have to wait for Damien because it's unknown for me. It's thin and triage though. I can remove the triage. And uh, let's add that when Damien will be back, meaning for the 22 okay. of October. Like that, we're pretty sure we'll have a look on it. Sorry for the delay. Um, the one, two, three, four, five next issues are related to the GDK 21. Uh, we were planning in the, in the first time to, uh, let, uh, Jay work on that. I don't think he, he had time last week and he may not have time this week, neither. Um, but still, uh, in the, in the, how you say that? Back burner, back burner. And... And we'll see with Jay how it uh, how he's dealing with Packer, and maybe we will be able to add those ones. Uh, as for replacing a Kuntap, um, no work have been done on that because it needs a lot of uh, discussion and make sure that we're not breaking everything. So let's see if there is new uh, issues. Oh, there's a brand new one. Right now, no documentation and no Java direction on my plugin page. So one of our plugin maintainer had the problem with, where is that? Okay. Let me, let me take a look at that. That it's, one is, let's see. Sometimes it's, I know sometimes there is a it's time just, gap. Right, it just wait enough time, but let's check that one. Sometimes it's also that there's a mistake in the. Okay, so. Okay, first things first. Can I see you? Oh, okay. uh, sure. Yeah, do you want me to share my screen? No, I assign you. Oh, you assign it. Sure yes, yes, absolutely. Just to make that sure that the, the, the person that opened that issue should see that we are taking care of it. Yes, that's that would be just fine. Oh, it's brand new. It's one minute ago. <laughs> yeah, really which good. which is is fine. And okay, the users made a mistake. No, no, maybe. Nothing new. I'll I'll it'll need more investigation. So it's it's okay. So I think that's all, Mark. Okay. There is nothing new. That was fast. I'm telling you, we we don't do much. But everything is taking a lot of time. And well, we're missing Damien, of course. Happy holidays, Damien. 
Okay, bye bye everyone. See you uh, next week and Tuesday, 15th of October, if I'm not wrong. And uh, see you. Thank you.